build this powerful Instagram AI agent using Claude 3.7. What this is gonna do, guys, is first of all, it's gonna grab the latest information from the internet on whatever your blog or niche is. Once it's done that, this AI agent powered by Claude 3.7's brand new model that's freaking kicking ass right now will decide whether or not it's relevant for your niche. Once it's done that, it will search the internet, it will check our database right here of viral hooks, of which it's got hundreds, and then what it'll essentially do is write down the article URL, a short overview, give you a hook unique to that video, and then give you an opening script for your shorts. Basically meaning that you could 100x grow your YouTube shorts, your Instagram, your TikTok, without the hassle of trying to find the most relevant news. I'll show you how to build this entire thing step by step and leverage this awesome new AI agent model. So if that's of interest, grab that coffee, and let's dive straight in. And I'll show you how this works to demo, and to do that, I'm gonna get the latest version from my AI automations community. So we're gonna head over to the classroom, every AI automation, and right here under social media, we've got this Instagram agent, and we simply come here and we download this JSON. Then we'll head back over to NA10, click these three beautiful little buttons, and then click on import from file. You select it, and then it updates automatically. So let's run this together, and then we'll rebuild it together uh, step by step. So if I click on here, test workflow. Now, one of the cool things that this AI agent will do, guys, is it already checks the database that we've got here to see whether or not we've already covered the topic. And if we've done that, it won't add it in again. And what this basically means is that we can stack inputs. We could do articles, we could do Reddit, we could do uh, competitor channels, whatever you want to. So you get this cool amalgam of epic stuff. So basically the AI agent is checking, this is its brain, anthropic by the way. Um, and then perplexity, when it finds an article, it doesn't even necessarily have to download that article. What we get perplexity to do, which essentially is AI, plus Google, it's like internet search, is it will enrich and find more information about that topic, meaning that we get exposure to the full picture, not just one single data source. So essentially, that's how it works. It pips, it pops, it reads things. And guys, this is so insanely configurable and such a simple yet beautiful automation you can build together. And essentially, we just get everything popping on this document here with the hook. So all you do is you read the hook, you can do the script. Obviously, we can do things in your tone of voice, your style, whatever works well for you to kind of supercharge your system. So how do we build this whole thing step by step? So let's delete and begin from the beginning. Now, the first thing we're gonna do in this one is RSS. So what on earth is an RSS feed? Well, we're gonna click on the first step and type in RSS inside. Now for you guys, you can either do read or trigger. I'm just gonna do the uh, read just for the simplicity of this. Now, I want to head over to, in fact, I'll show what it looks like on the homepage rss.app, which stands for really simple syndication. Essentially, what this enables us to do is grab the latest of anything that exists. So if I click on get started now, you'll see you can do Instagram feeds, you can follow someone's Twitter, you could follow any keyword you want to. Basically, you develop these systems. So if you look at my feeds, for example, on this dummy account I've got, I made one for AI tools. So if I just said I wanted a new feed, and I'll, I'll say we want to do one on, yeah, let's just say it's AI tools, like I said, right? It will generate, and what this will do for us, guys, is basically any new article on AI tools will appear here. And then what we're doing in our system is just downloading those things. So we could do different things like add filters, like keywords that we're not interested in, keywords that we are interested in. We can whitelist, we can blacklist under this filter section. Just FYI, as you can see, uh, you can have whatever you want to. So if I come back to overview, uh, you'll need to upgrade to like the minimum tier to do that, just FYI, but if not, you can get this basic one absolutely free. So we click on save feed like so and then we copy this XML. Then we're gonna head back over to our scenario here. And all we do guys is simply enter the URL and then click on test step. And then on the output side, we can see uh, the latest 25 articles that pop up there. You can see for Google sustainability reporting, AI is a game changer. Does that look familiar? It should do because it's right there. Awesome, cool. So we'll come back over to our scenario and then we're gonna click out and let's just bring these guys over here for a moment. Beautiful, so the next thing I wanna do there guys is give an AI agent. So come to advanced AI, AI agent, Beautiful, okay, so I'm gonna give it a very simple prompt. What I'd love you to do is, first of all, think about a couple of things in a framework. You wanna start by thinking about what your niche is about and actually like how you wanna structure it. So it's worth doing some independent thinking on that. Think about the psychographical factors of your audience, like what are their pain points? What makes them tech? What makes them listen to something? What is it that they want? And then you can use that to build a very simple and effective prompt to show you just very basically how cool this is. What we're gonna do, is this is basically saying, hey, where is this information coming from? Obviously, it's coming from here, right? So what we're gonna do, guys, is we are going to define this. So we're gonna say define below, and then we're gonna give it the information that we want. So we can say, hey, the title's cool. We want the link to the article, that would be cool. We want when it was published, because that's relevant. And then we can give a content snippet, that would be decent. Oops, let's bring that over here. And I think that's pretty much all we actually physically need. 
uh, and we can give it this state if we so choose to. Beautiful. Okay, so basically for every single article, our AI agent will get this information, which is really sweet. Uh, then what do we do? We want to add a system message. So we come down here to system message and give it something along these lines, which is, hey, you are a helpful assistant. That's good to know. I create content about AI tools, automation, and AI news. You will be given an article title, link, and snippet. If this contains something that I could create a piece of interesting short form content on, I'd like you to do further research on the topic and write a short script outline in 50 words or less. Check the database, see if it exists already. If it doesn't, don't add another one. Consult the hooks tab and choose one which would be most appropriate and add a hook. The thing about what I've realized, guys, is speaking to a lot of people that crush it on these different platforms is like when it comes to hooks, they just use the hooks that work. Like the hooks either work or they don't work. But that first like three to five seconds getting them in is so, so important. So if you can build up a database, a repository, and there's such cool stuff we could do in terms of like, you know, scraping the most viral Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts, and then saying, great, do me extract the hook. In fact, I might do a video on that if that's of interest to you. Extract the hook, add it to a hooks database, and then it has this growing encyclopedia of epic cool hooks it can use uh, to integrate your shorts, meaning you just get it on autopilot, which I think is a freaking cool build for this. I was just excited about this tech and I wanted to show it to you. So it's going to check our hooks tab and add that in. Uh, if it's not interesting, new, no, or it doesn't fit my niche, you know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to disregard it. We're not interesting. Could this prompt be deeper and improved 100%? I'm just showing you the kind of bare bones so you can build and run with this stuff. Ace, and then we are going to just simply give it, well, first of all, we need to, what we need to do is this, right? We need to give it a chat model. So click on chat model. You can look for Claude on the right-hand side. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do is you'll notice you can't see the 3.7. So how we're going to add that in is go to expression. And if I come back over here, what you're going to do, guys, is get rid of this and enter this information. And this will enable it to call the 3.7 uh, Claude super powerful version. And according to 3.7, guys, it is crushing it and doing extremely well. That's it. That's now we now we've got the model. It was that straightforward and easy. We need to add some tools, but first we want to create a cool little Google Sheets. So come to drivegoogle.com and let's add some information. What would be relevant for us? I guess we want a couple of fields, right? One is going to be article URL. Sweet. Uh, and then we're going to probably want a quick summary. Um, yeah, quick summary. Uh, the next thing we're going to want then is going to be the hook. And then finally, we want the um, short script. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Cool. We're going to basically let's select all. Let's go having the, the number one. Let's also just make everything in the center. That'd be really cool. And then let's actually, I quite like the text wrap on this. Decent. Bring this guy down fraction. Let's also bring these guys up. Oh my goodness. Cool. And then we also want the guys to be bold and let's add some cool color. Cool. And then we've got some nice, beautiful information there. Cool. First one, we're going to call this guy, let's call this one database. Uh-huh. And then the next one is going to be uh, viral hooks. Cool. Which I just, just for the purpose of this video, I just grabbed them online. So in fact, just for the sake of consistency, so I don't go crazy. Um, let's bring this over here and pop them in there. Cool. All right. Beautiful. Now let me grab the ones from before. And I don't know if these ones are special per se. I kind of just grab these from online just to kind of show you how it works. But effectively, yeah, we've got all this one here, so it can do that. Cool. And let's call this one together. Let's call this one something like Instagram blueprint since blueprints quite in vogue at the moment and then of course let's give it a cool emoji like the cool guy there sweet so we've got our hooks database we've got our database where we're going to start putting all the information let's just bring some of the stuff out sweet and then guys we're going to come back over to our phenomenal scenario here which is decent and we need to give it access to a couple of tools so the first thing we're going to want it to do is give it access to uh let's go for google Let's go for the Google Sheets tool. Sweet. So the first one is to get rows. So we just pick this folder. So I've selected the document here, which is the Instagram blueprint, and then we can choose the file. The first one is going to be database. That's absolutely fine. Decent. And I'm going to come here. Let's just duplicate him, bring him over, connect him so he can be happy and part of the tools family, which he doesn't seem to want to be able to get into. Oh my goodness. That was outrageous. Come back onto him, come back onto this guy. And instead of database, we're going to say hooks. The viral hooks. Sweet. And actually, I'm just going to rename these just so we know what they'll do. Oftentimes, it seems like a small thing, guys, but eventually, um, <laughs> yeah, eventually, it just like you lose track of what the hell's going on here. Database. Beautiful. And then next one to do is the same thing. So let's just clone. Uh, duplicate. Where are you? Phenomenal. Come here. Link this guy up. Click on him. And instead of read, this one's going to be right. So we come to, instead of get rows, let's go for append or update a row and then i think we don't need this one right 
Yeah, we come to Viral Hugs and then click on Date Space. Cool. Map each color manual is fine. And then we're going to hit this beautiful magical bing, 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 bam. That basically means, what's the TLDR of that? It just means a model will figure it out. That's, that's basically all that means. Sweet. And then we'll just say, let's rename this one to create content. Sweet. Now, the last final piece of this, guys, is its ability to connect to Perplexity. Perplexity, as I say, is basically a search engine. I don't really use Google anymore unless I'm just trying to find like a really specific piece of information. So the final bit is to come here. We're going to go for HTTPS request tool, HTTP request. Method is going to be post. Let's describe what it is. And we'll say this is Perplexity Internet Search. Phenomenal. And then the URL we need to enter, guys, is this one right here. And then we're going to scroll down. Let's go for send headers. Uh, this one model is going to be sort of the name is authorization and then we're going to add a parameter I think actually you know here we're going to go for using field below and for that guys it's basically bearer space your API key you can get that over on perplexity I'll just show you that briefly if you go over to perplex.ai forward slash settings forward slash API you go down to API keys you'll see a long string of numbers and that's basically exactly what you need and then click on send body guys and we're going to go for using JSON below and then just enter this JSON code which is basically specifying the model and then we've got the placeholder there which is flipping cool and then just make sure that your actual bearer API key is present. Cool, we click out. We're gonna rename this one Perplexi so we don't forget. Oh my goodness, where's the rename one? Perplexi. And guys, that is basically the entire automation. So I think we should give this one a full run through and see exactly how it gets on. So let's see, we've got the article URL and let's give this bad boy a little bit of a test. We're testing it, RSS has come down, the AI agent's doing it. Now, why is it cool to talk about Claude 3.7? It's because it's freaking epic. And it's like, if think of it as like the brain in the system and its brain gets more intelligent, its ability to create new content is better. I've always personally found that when it comes to creating content, the Claude, just from a natural language perspective, is just the best that I've found. And the fact now we've got a more superior model that we can use for this stuff is flipping epic. And I 100% attend to be using it for all the kind of short form stuff that I'm doing and also long form. The one small thing that's worth calling out is the fact that it is more expensive, definitely way more expensive than DeepSeek uh, and more expensive than ChatGPT. So we'll find out exactly what the cost on that. And I'll put, put everything down below for you. Cool, so this one has failed. Let's just stop the scenario and find out exactly what happened. Ah, uh, it, it could be the case we didn't have this column to match on article URL. So maybe we try that one. Let's just rerun this one more time. Okay, it's got the information. Let's just see what's happening. It's executing the node. Phenomenal, give this a brief second. Guys, I've just connected ChatGPT to this because Claude for some reason decided, hey man, you've used the API way too much, I blasted it. So it will work for you, but just, yeah, effectively I've used it a million times. And so it's kind of, sometimes it gets a little bit rate limited if you use it too much in a very short period of time and I've absolutely dominated it. But look, if we come over now, we can see things are getting added. So let's check out the blueprint. And guys, look, here we go. So here we go, we got an article. So if I, in fact, one of the things we need to do really quickly here, I think, just so we can actually freaking read what the hell is going on here, um, let's just wrap this. Cool, sweet. Um, so you can see this hook, this is your sign to, I know this one, what's this about? A discussion on the importance of reassessing university evaluation methods in light of rising AIUs, emphasizing the focus, blah, blah, blah. And then guys, we've got a quick summary, a hook, a short script, blah, blah, blah. And guys, you can tailor this to whatever your specific use cases are and basically crush it. So get your articles, get the scripts, add your tone of voice and you'll absolutely nail it. I hope you find this video interesting. In any case, have a beautiful week and I'll see you in the next video.